Recent heightened insecurity in the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, Abuja, has intensified the call by Nigerians for international assistance. Worried by this, the Inspector General of Police, Usman Akadi Baba, summoned commissioners and top field commanders over security threats and ordered more deployment of policemen in Abuja. In this regard, President Mohamed Wari, who commended collective efforts of other countries towards tackling insecurity across the globe, called for more international collaboration to check terrorism, banditry, and insurgency in Nigeria. Let's hear from the president. Nigeria is not left out of equation of the equation as we are fighting to rid our country of mandatory kidnapping, harder farmer crisis, and insurgency. We are, however, making meaningful progress with the support of friendly countries like yours to sustain these fights until we overcome these challenges. Mm. All right. Now, a lot of people will say eight months to the expiration mm -hmm. of this administration. President Buhari is saying what is meant to have said five, four, six, seven years ago. Now, we need help. Yeah, we need international nice collaboration. Mm -hmm. Now, we've identified that most of these terrorists, they are not homegrown terrorists in Nigeria. That we've imported terrorists from Libya, mm. Mali, and all these guys are trained abroad. These are, as in outside the country, mm -hmm. guerrilla fighters, ruthless. They are not like they are not human humans again. So they've engaged our children, our own um, natives, and they started train the, training them. Yeah. Is now mm -hmm. we we need intelligence gathering more than anything at this stage. I'm not saying that we don't need military hardware. Of course, we need military hardware, mm -hmm. but. If we have better intelligence and we get the support of the international community, because this intelligence gathering, a lot of it is driven by technology. You need the right equipment. You need to be able to know the location of these bad people. You need the equipment to do reconnaissance mm. across. A limitless mm -hmm. area just to be able to know where these bad boys are so that when we want to launch an attack we know that we will, the attack will launch it with precision mm -hmm. with accuracy we also need military hardware and training training the excellent soldiers are soldiers who have benefited from proficient training quality training people like um, um, IBB, their, their generation were so thoroughly trained because in those days they were going to Sandos, Sandos going to Pakistan, some of the best military in institutions the in the yes, world. Them, yeah. You know, those trainings are now hard mm. to come by. Mm. But I still appreciate it when American um, soldiers come to Nigeria and train our troops. For example, in buying to Kano, you know, we had to undergo training. Our pilots were sent there. There were still some um, Americans that came down to still come and train them here. The technicians have to be trained on the mastery of the, of the equipment so that whatever problem arises from the equipment, they know how to solve it. All of these things cost money. But our partners mm. can do some of these trainings for free, yeah. depending on our relationship. Yeah. They can do it. They can. it for yes, they will come, give training to your people. I've seen, it's not as if we don't do it. I've seen um, foreigners come to train Nigerian troops on, 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 our, on our soil. But what I'm saying is we need a lot more of that. And these guys have the intelligence, they are far away, but they know a lot that even our own people don't know well, about these bad boys. Jesus, I want to make reference to 
the Al Qaeda leader that America took out. Yes. You know, he participated in yes. this 9-11 The thing. Egyptian, yes. And, and, and look at they took look their at time. the position. They, it took they time. had been watching him for long. But each time they wanted to take him out, there would be people around him. Yeah. Because he was living with want, other families. Mm. Yes, they don't want collateral damage. And they didn't damage. want collateral damage. Look at when they killed uh, al Baghdadi too. Yeah. They made sure that al Baghdadi was cornered. And when al Baghdadi saw that, ah, these guys will pick him alive, he decided to, to use his uh, uh, suicide belt. Yeah. So he killed himself, killed mm. the wife. Now, in this guy's case, this they killed him alone. They Just killed him alone. Him outside. This is what they want. They don't like killing other people. Except you get in the way. Maybe in trying to save that person, you, mm. you got in the way. That happened in the case of um, um, Osama bin Laden. Osama. They had to take out... The, uh, the other guy. Yes. So, the, you know, they, they took their time. They don't... They can be looking for you for 20 years. Uh, when did 9-11 happen? Since uh, that, that 20, 2011. More than 20 years ago. Mm. But they, they, still, they took him out to teach others you a know, lesson. If you say you, terrorism is your 2001, way of life. 2001, yes. 2001, yes. 9-11, 23 years ago. They got him. If you say terrorism is your way of life, they know you two will not yeah. rest. They will keep coming for you. They've killed so many Al-Qaeda leaders. So many. No, of course. In Somalia, in different places. In different them. places. Mm. The collaboration that the president is seeking now, is it just for the sand bites, or are we really serious about it? Because talks have been held on this for a very long time. Mm. And we will seek international help, we will do this, with, but we don't follow it through. Are we serious this time around? Because what has become very clear now is that we lack, is either the intelligence is not there, or the intelligence reports are given, and those that and the intelligence report has mm -hmm. submitted to, don't follow it up. Like the Kuji like Prison um, Correctional Center invasion. They said they had the reports. What has happened? to so the guy that the reports were submitted to that failed to act. The moment you don't begin to take actions where somebody drops the ball and then nothing happens, that is what, that it is going to continue to happen. Now, terrorism, just before we got into the studio, there is that report now that an AIG was killed on his way from Abuja to Abuja, he was killed. And he was attacked. His aid was killed and he was wounded. Mm. AIG. I mean, you track. see, this thing is, cool. is becoming, mm. is becoming like a pattern. It's becoming like a pattern. And you see, when they begin to get the leadership of your security agencies, the same the president has been threatened. And yet, nothing has happened. Now, I don't see how we are demonstrating that we are serious about this business. Is it the day that they will almost get the president or get a governor? Because if, if the AIG is... What, AIG is, is but, but, uh, how many steps country, away from being the IG? In this same country, they almost killed an IG now. Ah, Have you forgotten? Ring him. Yes, yeah. yes. I I mean, him. And nothing happened. The, the line of the Inspector General of Police, you know, summoning the Commissioner of Police and Field mm. com Commanders. Mm. Now, when I look at insecurity and the Nigerian police, I feel that, mm. you know, they don't match, as in the, these terrorists, these bandits yeah. that we might not, they don't have the capacity to face them. These guys are taking our military elites, that elite, elite squad, they are taking <laughs> them out. Not to talk of police, policemen. Well, uh, it's... Um, In terms of equipment, training, everything. If you saw, if you bear in mind what happened in Maiduguri, the police mobile squad mm. took out Boko Haram 
yeah. fighters and mm. rescue soldiers who are kidnapped by them. Mm. Police mobile squad. Yes. Uh, the policeman mm. was given an award by Governor Zulum. Yeah. Is he had and what did he what did he have? He had the uh, APC. If you give the police the right equipment, they can take on these guys. But most of the time, they are unprepared. The equipment that they have cannot match what the enemy is carrying. What those guys are but carrying. a policeman in his APC, with the thick armor of the APC, mm. will feel comfortable. Even our soldiers, as long as we keep sending soldiers out in a... Uh, in uh, vehicles, Toyota. vehicles that do not have thick skin. <laughs> all this, uh, the, all the, all the e -lux, e -lux and the rest. Exactly. Mm. Every light day skin, vehicle. light skin. Mm. Every day vehicle. uh, vehicles. If they fire, uh, uh, even uh, even a pistol at close quarters at it, it can still kill people. Yeah. Look at. But if it's an armored vehicle, for example, mm. even if a small armored fighting vehicle. Yeah. It offers some protection because the armor, the armor the plate, plate is, is very yeah, thick. Yeah. So there are some projectiles even when fired at close quarters it do not enter. It won't get in. If you give them protection and they know that ah this vehicle gives me protection, honestly they will take on those guys and they won't be suffering fatalities like this. We are losing too many. Too policemen. many. Too many. There is a need for very serious investment in hardware for the police. Mm. And back that up with sufficient training. Honestly, the kind of I'm, I'm, I'm sure at least uh, carry out their primary responsibilities. Doctor, of yeah. doctor can recall the kind of police we had we used to during have. Adewusi. Yes. Thank you. During Adewusi. Yes. You know Adewusi. This man worked under him. The late uh, Akala. Akala. Yes. Mm. Was Adewusi's boy. Yes. Mm. Even the tanks, the kind of armored the vehicles that they had, they the had. army was worried. Yes. Mm. That with this kind of vehicle, maybe police can plan coup. In fact, when that was why when know, IBB came in, they, they had to mm, uh, exactly to reverse all that. I mean, they, 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 they reverse everything. If you give the police, police. that boy in uh, in um, in um, uh, Bono has shown us that a Mopol commander. Mm. Who has the tools? It's just, the as right good, it's just as good as any soldier. Yeah. He has the tools to work with. So that's what I'm happy the IG is preparing his men for eventualities. They still record successes. We have to give it to them. Definitely. They still record successes. Definitely. Definitely. But Definitely. what we are saying is that the police can be better than this. Than what they and are. And it's presently. the job of government to provide them with the tools that they need. So that we can have a better police. Some of these things that we are involving the army in, they don't need to need them. Exactly. The mobile police, mobile police, police, force, mm. to mm. police mm. force to be able to tackle bandits for exactly. God's sake. Who mm. are bandits? But because we have made them, you over the years we didn't equip them, them very exactly. well. We you disgrace them, them. You know, all they have we don't fear been. them. Let me tell you, if you the way we disrespect the police. Police doing their job in yeah. traffic. Mm. We can't disrespect soldiers like that. No, no. no. Because you know, you no, know, no. you will use your brain. You of know course. that this soldier may fire at you. Exactly. But it's the police that we disrespect. Exactly. We'll be, we'll be wagging one finger at police. Thank you very man. much. Mm. Thank you. In fact, because no. you think he, will, he cannot it, do anything. That's the what, what, what was the meaning of that? You know, we will be, people will be issuing threats to the police. The police to the policeman. With a gun. policeman. Can you can you try that with a soldier? It's, hmm. it's because you, hmm. we have possible. you we face have a soldier. It, you okay. have made Go to my Duguri, for example. Mm. Mm. We have soldiers. Oh. They are already very angry that they've been uh, they've been mm. there they've for so long. Go and wag go and wag a warning finger at a soldier as a soldier in my Duguri. Thank you. And you. Come and tell the story. Let's see. <laughs> Thank you.